we're going to do esoteric acupuncture and the first part we're going to do the diagnostic a little bit differently than we do with regular acupuncture. We're actually going to see the health of the chakras using a pendulum. So I'm going to start off at the root chakra and actually this one is moving pretty nicely here so her root chakra is doing really well and then we're going to move over to the second chakra Oh, it's, it actually has a little bit of an elliptical shape to it, so it's a little bit off. I'm going to move over to the third chakra. Move in pretty nicely. And then heart chakra. This one also has a little bit of an uneven pattern to it, so second and heart chakra are a little bit off. Now we're moving over to the throat chakra. Also a little bit off. Then third eye. This one's moving pretty nicely. And then we're going to move up to the seventh chakra. And this one's moving a little bit odd as well. So actually it's um, really common for a lot of our chakras not to be moving optimally. And what I was testing is more of on an emotional and spiritual level, which is what this acupuncture is more geared towards. So this acupuncture treatment is going to help more with meditation, with focus. If you have a yoga practice, it's going to help you with that. Also a better sleep, um, and also just feeling more peace and tranquility. Yes. We do the tongue and pulse as well, and I already done that diagnosis on Jessica. Um, and now we're going to open up the throat chakra. This is actually a real, um, tends to get really blocked on women. I'm going to take a deep breath in. Um, it has to do with communication and being heard and a lot of women don't feel like they are entitled to communicate or they don't feel heard by the people around them so I'd say most women that I see have some blockage here also if you're a writer this is a really great area to open up to, to let your voice to, to both have your voice and have it be heard and so I'm going to do a bunch of other points um, to open up her second chakra in her heart and also her, her seventh chakra. And at the end, we're going to retest all of the chakras with a pendulum to make sure that they're, they're balanced.